hello everyone a different type of video for me coming from me here on this nutrition channel this one is in relation to keeping healthy while you are away on holiday so right now I am in Jamaica having a lovely time researching lots about their food and what it is they serve here in relation to people with dietary requirements um, I haven't found an awful lot of stuff labeled up here um, there that the milk is a little strange it's kind of UHT I think um, there are creamers available to go in your tea or coffee but that's not something that I would put in there myself um, a lot of the time there's hydrogenated vegetable fats and oils and things and I would say probably don't use that I've gone for weak black tea which is actually quite delicious um, so that's that but you can get a few gluten-free options but they're not labeled up gluten-free you if you don't know your stuff yet say like when I was newly diagnosed um, with celiacs I would go and have a meeting with the executive head chef and say to him I need this I need that and make sure that he could fulfill that you won't get things out here like gluten-free bread or gluten-free cakes or put there are some puddings but they're not cake they're not gluten-free things they are just say like panna cotta which doesn't have gluten in it naturally you know it's like a moussey type thing stuff like that that's that i would recommend drinking the water and um, there's plenty of not from the tap but there's plenty of bottles of water out here obviously drink as much as that if you can make sure you stay hydrated turn the air conditioning down a little bit at night time because that can also help to dehydrate you as well and when you're in the sun and there's lots of alcohol readily available you can get quite dehydrated and quite poorly from it um, the weather, I'll show you a minute here what's going on. It's just starting to get really windy uh, and black clouds and that, that's not unusual really. Oh look at that, if I move that that way you can see the palm trees behind me in the reflection of the glass. Um, so out here there is not constant sunshine all the time as you would imagine, probably August will be different. Um, but we're here and it's November which feels really weird to think that I'm going to go back home and it's going to be Christmas soon. Obviously you put your sunscreen on. I've brought out coconut oil. Coconut oil isn't something that was available for me to buy anywhere on the journey up to here. So I brought mine with me. Just a small pot because if you love that on your skin it's so good and nourishing for the skin. And I haven't had any sunburn which is unusual for me. Um, but I have used a little bit of sunblock as well when we went out a couple of times on a boat. All in all I think it's very easy to stay healthy here abroad and look after your tummy um, if you do get a little bit of an upset tummy just lay off the heavy sugars and like the fruit juices for example definitely lay off them um, and then you'll find that your tummy will start to sort itself out if you wanted to bring some probiotics that you don't need to keep in the fridge um, I do have some of those that you can purchase from me so just let me know by leaving a comment down below and if you've got any other questions that you want to know about keeping healthy abroad, let me know. And um, just obviously use your sense really, a lot of it is common sense. Probably a lot of it you're already going to know. What I don't like is all these companies that are now trying to sue the like, holiday companies like this. And they try their absolute best, they really do. I mean, I think it's very, very unusual for anybody to get food poisoning. Um, very often you will get holiday tummy so if you're somebody that might be lactose intolerant and at home all you'll have is a little drop of tea in your milk and you come a little drop of milk in your tea sorry you come aboard you're having ice creams every day that's going to upset your lactose intolerance and you're going to be ill it's not food poisoning it's a different sort of thing so um i've loved coming here and reviewing the meals that we've had and i shall be putting lots on about on my blog about it um, the meat that's available here is absolutely delicious. There's lots and lots of fish, so I recommend you eat those. Um, so, yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know. If you have an establishment you would like me to come along and review the dietary requirements, special dietary requirements, allergy related stuff, then make sure you get in touch and let me know, and I will send you over my media pack. Meanwhile, if you're going on holiday, make sure you keep healthy and let me know how it goes. Bye for now.